guys, it's Anthony. Wanted to make a quick video today. If you liked the video, click the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you want to know when I upload a video, and click the share button if you agree with this, which I, I hopefully a lot of people will. I'm making this video angry today in cold New Jersey weather. I'm standing outside in a, on a windy November day just to tell you this. Remember that video I made about the Ravens? Well, if you didn't see it, I'm going to run it down for you. I said the league loves the Baltimore Ravens and their frauds. I also said that the league plays favorites. They got their game postponed like four times since the last week before Thanksgiving. Their game was supposed to be on Thanksgiving. Has yet to be played because their starting quarterback tested positive for COVID-19 a few days before the game. Fast forward to like Friday when all four of the Denver Broncos tested well, no, one of them tested positive for COVID-19. All four of them had to quarantine and miss Sunday's game. Denver Broncos didn't get postponed. No, the Denver Broncos were told that they had to play football on Sunday. That their record was like four and six. Right? They could have made a comeback to finish the season 10 and six if they played right. Well, that doesn't always happen, but fans see that and they're like, we're still in contention, right? Instead, they're forced to play a game against the New Orleans Saints on Sunday, starting a practice squad wide receiver at quarterback. He completed one of nine passes for a whopping, I don't know, passing percentage. With a league average, it's usually over 50%. It hovers around 60. There's way less than that. One out of nine passes. That's one-ninth of his passes. For like 13 yards, one interception, the Denver Broncos got walloped 31-3 by the Saints, who were also starting a backup quarterback. And it was embarrassing for the league, for their COVID protocol, for the team. The team is now pretty much out of the hunt. For everyone involved, it was an embarrassment. The league should be ashamed of itself. Roger Goodell has questions to answer because of this game. This game shouldn't have been played. This game should have been postponed. But no, they gave him an ultimatum. Start somebody at quarterback or forfeit the game. How dare they? Honestly, how dare they? I'm not even a Broncos fan and I feel pissed for them. How dare they when they postponed the Ravens game like 17 times since last week? How dare they? The Broncos want answers. The players do. The coach says, uh, I'm not going to really go against... Well, whatever what the coach says, that guy's just kissing and covering his own ass. The players deserve answers. The league deserves to answer them. They never will. They're going to make a defense statement saying the Broncos had the play. It's unfair to the whole team. It's unfair to the, the NFL. It's unfair to the fans. It's unfair to everybody involved. It's a, it's a disgrace. The league should be ashamed of itself. If I was in charge of the NFL, that game would have been postponed or every team plays someday regardless if they lose their quarterback or not. That's how it should be. Okay, what they're doing is playing favorites and that is disgraceful. How dare they? Who are they to play favorites when it's the owners who own the teams and it's the owners who are paying into this? How dare they? You don't see small market teams like the Cincinnati Bengals making the NFL money. But you see the Ravens making the team the NFL money because they have cool jerseys. They have Lamar Jackson. They have Mark Ingram. They have a good team. It's unfair. It's a disgrace. The league should be ashamed of itself. The NFL season should probably just be canceled now after the disgrace that it did. The 49ers can't even play in their home. They're playing in Arizona for the next three weeks and they're quarantined to a hotel. This has been butchered. It's been bad. Everyone from top to bottom that's involved with the Denver Broncos having to play a game on Sunday with an undrafted practice squad wide receiver starting at quarterback needs to get fired. Everyone needs to answer the questions that the fans and the teams are going to ask because they need to be answered. This is a mess. This is a disgrace and nobody's going to do anything to fix it. We might see even more things like this as the season finishes out.
What's going to happen in the postseason? You can't do stuff like this. The postseason might even drag on to, to March because of stuff like this. All right, the league has to answer for this, but they probably won't. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hate to be talking about this.